Hi everyone, it's Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. I'm going to take a moment to make a fun little video and go over some really basic vigil candles with you. And these are vigil candles which I will be listing in my shop soon, listing as single vigil candle services as loan services by themselves. So let's examine some of these candles and some of their meanings and uses. And the first candle that I have is a blockbuster. There's a lot of glare, so let me see if I can get a good look at this for you here. Okay, this is one of the old-fashioned um, blockbuster candles that I really love. And of course, um, blockbusters are good for any area of your life where you have a major blockage or an obstacle that you need to break up, um, blast apart, get rid of, get that obstacle out of your way so that you can move forward towards gaining success in your goal, gaining your goal or gaining success in your endeavors. So for instance, this would be good, you are unemployed, you have been applying for jobs over and over and over again, you've revamped your resume, you've looked at things from every which way, you, you're writing a great cover letter, you've um, done everything that you need to promote yourself and you keep applying for jobs and for some reason you just feel stuck. There just seems to be some kind of obstacle there, something is going on and you can't place your finger on it but this job situation is not opening up. Okay, that is a great um, case in which to use a blockbuster to break up your obstacles, break up that blockage and help you move forward. I also like that this candle has um, some directions and a little prayer on the back of it here. And it has it in Spanish and in English. And the instructions are actually some really old school um, hoodoo techniques. And it says, anoint the candle with special number 20 oil, write your wish on candle, read your 23rd palm, meditate on your desire one hour each day. And this is pretty good advice. I don't know what number 20 oil is. Um, I don't use numbered oils. Um, I know that that was something that um, was popular at one time. Um, writing your name on the candle could be very helpful. I prefer to write a paper petition, which I place underneath the candle, and also to carve the name and goals in the top of the candle here. Um, and then it also says to read the 23rd palms. Palm number 23 is very popular in hoodoo work. And then meditate on your desire for one hour each day and that's excellent advice for candle work. Um, meditate on your desire on that goal you want to manifest every day. If this is not something that you do once um, for you know 10, 15, 20 minutes and you think that everything is going to work out for you. This is something that you focus on each and every day until your goal works out and a one hour meditation for any goal or desire is definitely extremely helpful. Um, yeah, so great candle there. I'll move on to my next one. This is a double action candle, and they come in all kinds of colors. Um, I like red and black. I especially like these candles for um, reversing a situation. Not necessarily a situation, but more reversing an energy or reversing an emotion of a situation. So. Red is really good for action. It's good for getting rid of or breaking up what you want to get rid of. And black will give you the protection and the neutralization of the energy that you need. Um, red and black is also great to be used for reversing um, negative energies or negative circumstances regarding your love life. Um, also, these are, of course, our Aleguas or Isus or Legbas colors. So this could also be used for him. It could also be used for, um, in conjunction with his energies, such as opening your roads, right? So this is a great um, multi-purpose, double-colored candle. Like I said, they come in all kinds of colors. I also like to use... Um, green and black for reversing a negative situation pertaining to money. And speaking of money, we've got the Horn of Plenty candle here. 
or cornucopia. But this one says horn of plenty. Again, it has it in Spanish and in English. You can see it's got some lucky numbers here. Seven and three, which are good numbers for good luck and prosperity. Some money symbols, right? <clears throat> so this candle can be used for all kinds of abundance in your life. This side actually says lucky seven. So this is a candle that can be used for abundance in all kinds of different areas of your life, but I would specifically use it for good luck in um, prosperity and in finances, in um, endeavors surrounding money or abundance in your life, but mostly money. Um, it says that it's for good fortune. And I love that it has the cornucopia on it. Um, of course, that's a really old symbol. Um, it's an archetypal symbol, which is great for bringing that energy of abundance and prosperity into your life. And I would use this in any situation involving good luck, but like I said, specifically for money, abundance, and finance. And here is a controlling and dominating candle trying to get you a good look at that and it shows a rather ominous picture um, of somebody a big hand holding a person as if they're a little puppet like they're controlling them like they're a little puppet or a poppet doll right like they're dominating them they're dominating their life and I don't use candles like this um, lightly. I don't use candles like this in just any situation. This would be if you're in a serious situation. Um, somebody is threatening your livelihood. Somebody is influencing your life negatively to the extent that you are not able to function or you are not able to make money and survive or you are not able to, you know, to live as you should with dignity and respect and happiness and joy because of the influence of someone else. So that's when I would use this kind of um, defensive magic, right, in serious situations. Okay, so that's the controlling and dominating candle. I've got a breakup candle here, and it's got a snake on it, and I just love that snake graphic. <laughs> And that's a really old school correspondence um, using that cobra as a threatening image to break up a situation or to have control over a situation. Um, I like snake images also because it's a sacred image of fertility, of um, female wisdom, and of wisdom in magic and witchcraft in general. So I like the snake image, um, just generally speaking. Again, the breakup candle is um, to be used in a similar way as the controlling or dominating candle, only because of the fact that I would use it in a situation that is serious. Um, I don't use candles like this lightly. Um, I don't use magic like this lightly. Um, so. There are a lot of different ways or reasons, I should say, to break up a relationship. This is not just always about, I want this guy, so I want you to break them up so that I can have this guy. Um, there are a lot of, there are other reasons that are, there are a lot of different reasons to break up a relationship, and some of them can be really important, and you have to measure each case on a case-by-case -case basis but I do do breakup work and I do do it for important reasons. So there is the breakup candle. <clears throat> and another lucky candle. And this lucky candle is in multiple colors, which is really great because you can use these colors to apply to multiple areas of your life. So you could use this candle for seven days or however many days it takes to go through these colors, and each day you could apply good luck to a different area of your life. Um, the way that I will use this candle in my shop and in my services is to bring general good luck and blessings to any situation which needs it. 
Um, for example, it would be good if you were taking a big exam. You need a boost of good luck, um, some strength and blessings to help you get through that exam. Um, perhaps you are going for a big job interview. You want some good luck there. Maybe you're working on a new creative project and you need some good luck. Or you're going on a, a long trip. Maybe you are moving to a different part of the country and you just want to make sure that nothing goes wrong and that you have some good luck. So, yeah. Anywhere that you need good luck, this candle would be great to support your endeavors, support your overall goals in life. I'm just going to look at some of the things that this candle says. Um, it says helping hand, good fortune. It says make your wish come true. It's got a four leaf clover on it. It says lucky in love. You can certainly use this when you are going on dates and trying to attract a new partner or a new lover. Um, it says the master key to success and fast luck. It has a horseshoe, a black cat, and the number 13. A lot of traditional lucky symbols, which I really love. I love that it has a key on it. You know, um, a key is a really important uh, symbol in metaphysical work and in the occult. It's like opening, being able to open the doors of the unknown, being it's the key to your success. Um, it represents, you know, opening the passage between this world and the metaphysical world. So the key is a, a really strong symbol and a really powerful symbol in magic. All right. Let's, ooh. The last candle that I have here is one that I really love. It's another multicolored candle, and it's just a plain multicolored candle, which I like because you can assign to it... Um, any goal or desire that you need. And I, of course, talk a lot about chakra work. Um, and no, that doesn't mean that I'm all foo-foo and love and butterflies and I'm just into crystals and flowers and stuff. Um, but I do believe strongly in the power of your chakras and in the importance of them in spiritual work, in energy work, um, and in being able to connect to your spiritual guidance and being able to use your own um, magical energy, your own uh, spiritual energy. I find chakras to be really important in that and a really powerful way to tune into that and to um, keep your yourself, your energy, and your body in attunement with spiritual energy. So a candle like this would be a great way to focus on um, different chakra work. Of course, they don't go in the order of the chakra, and some of the colors, the chakras, and some of the colors might not match exactly. But still, you could light, you can burn each color a little bit every day, or one color a day. And while you're doing that, meditate on the energy that you want to work on in your body, or meditate on the corresponding chakra and working on moving energy through that chakra. Um, there are a lot of other ways that you could use this candle too. Of course, these colors can correspond to all kinds of things. So this is when you have a um, need for a multi-purpose candle in your life where you have multiple goals that you're working on. This can also be used to generally bring good luck and bring great energy into your life. So. None of these candles are listed in my shop as of now, but they are all going to be listed as individual um, vigil candle services. So coming soon to Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. And if you have questions about any of these candles or anything that I've mentioned in any of my videos that you would like elaboration on, please do let me know. Also feel free to let me know if you have suggestions for future videos. Um, be sure to share the videos, to like the videos, and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't hesitate to contact me at any of the links that I've listed below. Thanks for watching, and have a great night.